You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome to Rom Wills About That Business, the word opportunity. Now, I'm going to tell you what. And this is, you know, when I was working retail, a word that was thrown around a lot is uh, opportunity. Opportunity just meant, hey, we can make some more money in this particular area. Like, you know, if sales were down in a particular area, like say, like I was working at a department store and like say, um, I don't know, polo type of shirts were down in sales. No jeans or a particular like store brand of pants, whatever it is, we would say, okay, we ain't making that much money. Sales are down here. What opportunity do we have or can we create to make uh, bring the sales up? Now, the way I apply it in my business now is uh, some people know, if you check my website or if you even check my description boxes, You'll see, I got a lot of websites. YouTube is just one income stream, one. And I have double digit income streams, but all of them are not making the same amount of money. Some are very lucrative. Some are like, well, like extremely lucrative. Like there's one income stream I have. I can, uh, no, you know what I have about, how many? Three income streams where I could live like very well if that was a sole income stream. Like not, you know, not like super well, like not six figure well, but you know, better than most of the population. Like, uh, you know, you know, the housing costs would be paid utilities and still could, uh, you know, eat a car, car note. I could pay everything under it. Right. But then you got some, you got some. I'm lucky if I get gas money for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being real with you. I got some that uh, you can just you can just deal with gas money. So it's like, all right. Now some that's on the gas money. It, you know what? That's just extra. Like I got a I got an affiliate account with uh, Amazon. So I advertise some stuff on my site, and plus I got some other stuff out there. Right. I don't get that much with that. Like I say, gas money at best. So, you know, that could be. But at the same time, I'm thinking opportunity. But then I got some other stuff I got coming in, money coming in. It's not like um, I couldn't live on it solely. Like, say that was a sole thing I had coming in. I would have to still I would have to get a part time job or something to uh, supplement that or the money coming in from the income source would have to supplement um, the part time job. Right now, those are opportunities, because when I look at the ones that that's not covering living expenses and that's how I divide them, the income sources divided that uh, covers living expenses and more. Oh, yeah, doing great with that. And even then, I'll get into opportunities there. But the opportunities with the other stuff, you know, that's the opportunity. So I'm saying, OK, what can I do to increase that money like i give you an example i do the on-demand videos right the on-demand videos and i actually looked at the opportunity and say okay what can i do because at first i would do maybe one a month at best and you know get something but it's like oh wait a minute now i need to increase the number that i do and that's what i'm going to be doing i hadn't done one in a week or a couple of weeks but i can increase uh i'm like you know what i can make some money by increasing the number there and it's already gone up because this past month was the first time I did uh, three on demand videos in a month. And if I could get, increase it to the point of at least one a week, that brings up more money. But that's an opportunity. You know, book sales, books, book sales. Now, I make a decent amount of book sales. I make a decent amount. I would say what I make there is enough to keep bills paid. I'm just be honest, because you're talking about like ebooks and everything, and you know the royalty often might be two or three dollars. 
I would say I make enough in the sales there to keep all my basic bills paid as long as I don't want to eat. Now, if I was just living just on that, I would need a, a part-time job. And in fact, when I was working on retail, that's what I was doing. I was making enough with the book sales just to, uh, you know, keep some bills paid, but I needed extra. And making a little bit more now, but even there, I was like, okay, I got to get that to the point where I could live on just that too. That's an opportunity. So it's like, okay, let me let me work on the book sales and let me work on some books. Let me really jump into that, you know, and got a few others too. I was like, okay, there's an opportunity here. There's an opportunity here. You know, the word opportunity is just, okay, how can I increase my bottom line? You know, and there's always something. I don't care what your business is. Everything is not going to sell well. I don't care what business is. There's something that if you have a retail store, there's something in there that don't sell as well. So you need to look at that. Say, like, say you got a clothing store or let me use an old example I used when I first started this channel. T-shirts. OK, you got certain types of T-shirts that sell like crazy, but others that don't. Now, if they, if you might look at it. OK, is there an opportunity? There? Yeah, they sell. Like if you have a little store, you might say increase the opportunity. OK, say, OK, let me get a mannequin. Let me put this on a mannequin. Let me move this over here and merchandise it a certain way. Right. You want to merchandise it a certain way. So it's like, oh, OK, got this. Boom. You're making a little bit more money. All right. Oh, it's like whatever. Always look at everything you do, every single thing, and think, okay, how can I make more money with this? How can I make more money with this? You know, don't get complacent because see, here's the thing. Even with your income sources that are doing very well or the things that are selling well, you know, some could happen. It could change overnight. So, and I mentioned I was going to get into that part, even with the stuff you have. Always look at the little things you could do to make it even better. Like all the ones I said I could live on just by themselves, I'm always looking at, okay, I'm getting a lot of money here, extra money. I can got my paying bills, can eat a little bit extra, you know, can buy extra stuff, clothes. Okay, how can I make it more? <laughs> how can I make it even better? Like even on YouTube, people don't realize I constantly look at my videos, especially like YouTube or especially on ROM TV. I will sit there and as I'm editing, I'm looking at it and say, OK, yeah, I need to look at that camera more or I need to do this. I need to have it at that angle. I need to work on that lighting. I'm constantly thinking, OK, I'm getting. You know, I'm getting, let's say. Well, let me use an on demand video. Let's say I'm getting one hundred dollars a week on it. I'm looking at it and say, OK, what can I do to increase the amount of money I'm getting on a particular video. Just little things, like little things you could take it up. It's like having a car that can go from zero to a hundred in uh, um, six seconds, right? Something like that. You know, I'm thinking in terms of, okay, how can I get this thing to go from zero to a hundred in four seconds? Like you, everything, always think about how can I do? What can I do? Always don't, don't get complacent and say, oh, I'm just going to stick on this. Hey, how, how can I make this a little bit better? Now with the stuff that you really need to make money on, really focus on, really, really focus on the little stuff. Like, a, like the big stuff, you might have to change positions, something, market it better or something. So definitely focus there. But even on the stuff that you are doing very well with think okay how can i what kind of opportunities are there to make even more money how can i do this uh, how can i fine tune it this is working but i want to keep it fine tuned i want to keep it up what can i do what can i do you know and that's very important in business that the word opportunity should be a regular thing because i always think oh that's an opportunity there because even uh, like i'm use the uh, videos again one thing I'll do, I'll go through my analytics and say, OK, which videos are popular? What are people looking at? And I've seen the theme. So I said, OK, I need to I need to stick with videos about this. Right. I need to stick with videos about this. I need to get more into this and less into that, because I always also pay attention to videos that get uh, fewer uh, views. Like one thing, 
And I'm going to still stick with this anyway, but I'm looking for opportunity. Like I do the inspirational stuff on Sundays. So now I'm starting to think, okay, I get a certain amount, I get a, but what can I do to make that better? And I actually have an idea for that. So anyway, right? That's all I got for now. I'll get back with y'all later. You know? Yeah, I know the deal. Let's go make that money. <laughs>